Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and I just wanted to say if you've not seen the live stream that I did uh, the other day, a big thank you to all of you who are subscribed to the channel. We have recently hit 300 subscribers which is absolutely incredible. I did not think this day would ever come. And it doesn't seem like a lot maybe to some of the big YouTubers, but to a smaller YouTuber like myself, it really does mean a lot. So thank you very much. And that is also why I wanted to bring today's video. I did a video like this when we hit 200 subscribers, and the feedback that I got from that video was quite positive. A lot of you found it very useful. So I thought I'd do it again. And today I'm going to give you five top tips to help you grow your YouTube channel as a small YouTuber. It's not really going to be aimed at big YouTubers. This is more for you smaller guys like myself that I may be trying to claw a couple more subscribers to hit that goal. So tip number one for you is obviously the most important thing on your channel is image. And what I mean by this is you need to make sure that your channel looks nice. So you need to have a good intro and a software that I like to use for this is called Panzoid. It's an online software. It's really simple to use. Um, I've got a little bit of footage here just really quickly me making an intro. Um, it's quite a simple software to use and is very useful for making really good looking intros. You also need to make sure you've got a good logo. So if you haven't got a good channel logo, people just aren't going to come and visit your channel. If you just got a picture of your dog as your logo, people aren't usually going to click on something like that. But if you've got something fun, exciting and inviting for your viewers to come and look at, the chances are they're going to want to look at it a little bit more. And then on top of that is um, actually good editing. And this actually does tie into image because if your videos aren't exciting, if you don't cut out the boring parts of videos, then people just aren't going to sit there and watch them. And if all your videos are unedited, then they can be quite boring and people are going to lose interest. So good editing does come into it. And the software that I use for editing is called Shotcut. It's actually a really, really good editing software. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Uh, half the stuff that the software has to offer, I've not even got into yet. Um, but it is really cool and it is actually free as well. So I'll leave a link in the description to a download page for that if you are interested. I'm not um, sponsored by them or anything like that, but it's just what I use and it is an incredibly good editing software. So number two is something that I have been using a little bit more recently. If you are new to the, to the channel, sorry, um, you might have noticed that recently I've been posting daily. And uh, I actually haven't been posting daily. It just appears to you that I have been posting daily. What I actually do is use the scheduled upload features on YouTube. And um, this is actually really handy if you're going away for a couple of days or maybe if you've got something planned on a day and there's just absolutely no way that you're going to be able to make a video. Then what you can do in one day, I might record two or three videos and I will set them to upload sort of one day after the next. So I might record three videos on one day. And then the next day I might go and do something and a video will just come out that I recorded the day before. And, um, but I found it quite useful. I've gained a lot of consistency on the channel by uploading daily. It's been really useful for that. And uh, it has actually gained me quite a few subscribers over the last month. So definitely check into that if you've not used it before. It's not that difficult to use. It's exactly the same as how you'd upload any other video. You basically just click on there and then set it to schedule and it will release on whatever time and day that you set it to. So the next one is kind of a uh, weird one. Not a lot of people 
will do that. Well, they might do this. I don't know. But this is something that I do, which I find really useful. And it's actually just to write down your ideas. A lot of times uh, I'll be lying in bed or I'll be on a long car journey and I'll think of a really good um, video idea for you guys. And just write it down. I've got a massive list, as you can see here, of videos that I want to go and make. And um, if you don't write them down, chances are you're just going to forget them. This can actually be really useful as well. Uh, if you're struggling for content ideas, if you can't think of anything, then you can always come back to this list and you've basically got a reserve of video ideas that you can go and make. So if it's something... If it's on a particular day, maybe you're not enjoying the game that you have been playing recently and you want to dive into something else, you can always refer back to the list, see what other sort of video ideas that you have in there and just choose one that you seem to like at that time. Now the next one is not going to be for everyone but it is something that is quite important and this is investing in your channel. Now obviously if you're doing it more as a hobby and you don't really want to get into YouTube properly, you just want to do it, see if you can get a few subscribers, that kind of thing, then this one might not apply to you. But people like myself that actually want to become a YouTuber, want to grow your channel and possibly make, get millions of subscribers... Um, you do actually need to invest in your channel. And I'm not just talking about money, I'm talking about your time and effort. You need to actually... Um, you know, want to grow your channel. If you have that sort of passion, if you have that sort of feeling in your videos, people will get those vibes and they'll be like, yeah, this guy actually wants to go places. I want to help support him. If you're a YouTuber who sort of lacks that, you're just sort of a little bit lazy, then they'll go, oh, well, he's not investing his time, so why should I watch his videos? And Believe it or not, people do actually think like that. So it is important that you invest your time, but you do also need to invest money into channel. So I'm not talking about loads of thousands of pounds. Uh, some of the big YouTubers might do that. You don't need to go out there and buy the top of the range microphone, all the best headphones, all the best equipment like that. I'm just talking about making small purchases. So maybe a new games come out that you really enjoy. Just buy the game if it's not that expensive maybe it's 20 30 quid just consider buying the game make a few videos on it it's something fresh for your channel uh maybe you want to just buy a little bit of an upgrade for one of your headphones or something so i used to just use the stock playstation headphones and i actually upgraded i bought one for 40 quid not everyone has 40 quid to throw away on a new headphones, but if you're invested and you use it every day like I do, then it is quite an important purchase. So invest your time and also do invest your money. I'm not saying throw all your money into YouTube, but you know, just make small purchases that will help your channel to grow. And the last one is keeping people up to date on your channel. This is a really important thing. So at the moment, I've been uploading daily. Uh, previously, I haven't been able to do that. In the past, I've been at college or uh, some of you guys might be at school or you have work and you can't actually upload every day. Uh, maybe you just upload once a week or a couple of times a month, but it's really important to keep some consistency on the channel. So at least upload once a week if you can, otherwise a couple of times a month. But don't go from uploading, you know, once or twice a week to only uploading once in a month and not tell anybody. If you're going to do that, you need to let your viewers know. And you can do this either by releasing a small short video, um, just sort of explaining why you're going to be doing this. Maybe you're throwing yourself into a new job and you're not going to be able to upload as much, just let your viewers know so they know why that that you're not going to be um, uploading as much. And um, you can also use social media. So I have uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for my YouTube channel, and 
Every time I upload a video, I release a uh, small post on there letting the viewers know that there's a new video. If I have any problems on the channel, like recently my PlayStation controller has broken. So I put out a post there explaining what was happening so that there wasn't going to be any videos for a couple of days. And it just helps your viewers realise that, okay... Um, he's not going to be uploading as much, but we can see why and we still want to support him. And obviously that is the most important thing on your channel. Get the viewers support. If you have the viewers support, then they will help your channel grow. They will share it with their friends and ultimately you'll gain more subscribers. But that is going to be it for my top five top tips video today i hope it was useful for some of you leave a comment if you have any more suggestions i might put those in the next video and uh, also let me know if any of these tips work out for you hopefully they do uh, but thank you all so much for supporting the channel and for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you all next time